Hi everybody, I hope you're well. So in this quick video, we're gonna run through how to account for your bounce back line. So let's head over to Xero. And what you'll see here, so this is as soon as you log into your Xero account, this is what you get your dashboard will look like. These will be populated, this is a test account. Um, so we've got here reconcile one item. So if we click there, we can see here that we've received 30,000 pounds and we know that this is the amount we've received from our bank for our bounce back loan. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to create something for this. So what we'll do is we'll start in and this is where we go what? So what is this? If we start typing in loan, we can see here we've got a, a couple of pre-populated accounts. Um, and for the vast majority of people, the 900 loan account is definitely the best place for this to go. So we just type in Y here, bounce back loan. And then that transaction is fully reconciled and is recognized within the accounts. And then when we go over to our balance sheet here, today so once we've updated that we'll see here that we now have thirty thousand pound cash in the bank which is correct we've received our money from the bank and we've also got creditors loan thirty thousand pounds owing as well which is absolutely fantastic it's that simple so it's gonna be that easy at the moment however when it comes to later on down the line what we're gonna to have to do is actually have to split it out so if we look here oh, where are we So then if we look here, so this is what the um, summary sheet looks like. So for a lot of people that have got this, you, you'll receive a subsequent months side of thing here that outlines a monthly payment as to what amount goes towards the principal, so the capital payments, and what amount is the interest. So for each month, starting from the 11th of the 6th, 2021, there'll be a repayment due of £562.98p. £500 of this will be capital, which means it's going to go against that £30,000 loan we've got here. So once we've paid that, that will go down to uh, £29,500 um, and another £500 a month afterwards. And that £62.98 is going to be an expense. So we're going to have to allocate the, some of the payment towards reducing that loan balance. And that £62.98 is going to go on the profit and loss as an interest expense. Um, so it really is that simple. There's nothing to worry about really for the next couple of months. Um, and I'm sure your accountant will be able to help you with splitting out the capital payments and the interest amount. But that's really just a quick video on how to record it in your Xero account, get that reconciled um, and get everything up to date. Cheers for watching guys. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments, send me a message. I'll be more than happy to help. Cheers.